Hey everybody, it's Ariel or Elle and I'm back for another FUP DAY! Yay! <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cough that I'm getting over so <clears throat> I might be a little out of breath sounding and everything but I'm hoping that <clears throat> I'll get through this video just fine. So guys, I'm officially 22 weeks pregnant, which I, I always say this, but it's just like, I can't believe how fast this is flying by, really. And I'm just so amazed at everything that's going on in my body and how the baby is growing and everything. Uh, the baby is almost at the point of viability, which is just, just, I can't even imagine, like, that I have this little viable human inside of me. So week 21, obviously, I've got a little bit of a cough, um, but other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. Still not feeling the exhaustion that I felt weeks, what, 17 to 19 or something like that. So still doing much better than those weeks. Um, let's see, what else is going on? So I still haven't gained a whole lot of weight. I It's very confusing to me. I don't know if anyone else went through this with IVF. But during IVF, I gained so much weight. Like, I, st I my weight fluctuated. Let's get real here. So I'm about 5'7"-ish and maybe a little bit more than 5'7". <clears throat> And my weight usually fluctuates somewhere between 151 and 155. That's like my average through all of the years that I've ever been weighed or whatever. It's like leveled out to that. <clears throat> and so, so that's always been my weight. And then during IVF, my weight went up to 162. So, and yeah, and then it like went down a little bit and then it just kept going up. So, well, with pregnancy. So I don't really know what to count as my starting weight. Um, but I know that I think the average person is supposed to gain about 30 to 35 pounds during their pregnancy, their whole pregnancy. So, and I haven't, I feel like I haven't gained that much. My weight this week has fluctuated between 168 and 171. So I actually had a recent midwife appointment and I asked her about that and she said not to worry and that I should just eat whatever my body wants at the time. Um, my appetite has been a little bit down. I know some people lose weight because they are like throwing up and stuff like that a lot with morning sickness, but I never got that. It's just more that I feel like my belly is smaller and I don't have like the portion sizes that I used to eat on a regular basis. So I've just been eating like smaller, more frequent meals and um, been really into like protein and stuff like that lately. But she said just eat whatever sounds good to me at the time and I'm sure everything will catch back up. So I'm not super worried about that, but I don't really know what my starting weight should be for pregnancy. So if any of you guys out there that have done IVF, have you gained weight during IVF and like what do you count? as your starting point because I swelled up really really bad <clears throat> during IVF so I don't know like what was fluid and what was not and you know I was like pretty borderline OHSS and so I don't know like what counts as what. <laughs> Alright <clears throat> so the other stuff going on with this past um, week has been I, I don't know if I mentioned this before to you guys and if I have I'm sorry but I officially gave up on the socks, the compression socks that I was getting as a prescription. I officially gave up on those and I had ordered them online and they finally came in this week and so I gave them a try and oh my gosh, so much better. I feel like I can walk again, I can do everything again as long as I'm wearing them. The only downside is they are really difficult to get on. It almost felt like I ordered them a little bit too tight but I did measure myself. Like the site I ordered them from still had you measure and send in like your measurements and then that's what it popped out with a size and I think my size was like medium and so nothing like that surprising but they are super 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 tight um so they're really hard for me to get on right now just because I feel like my belly's kind of starting to get in the way of like putting on things so that's been kind of tricky um <clears throat> the other thing I don't know if I've mentioned before I I just cannot remember if I mentioned this so maternity jeans funny things about those <laughs> And maternity pants is, everyone seems to love maternity pants and maternity jeans. I am just not one of those people. As I mentioned during my ultrasound video, baby is super, super low. <laughs> really? No. Baby has been low for a really long time. That's just the way it is. And what's tough is that whenever I wear jeans, like maternity jeans, it feels like like the band is comfortable and then right where like the jean part starts it's kind of like cutting into my stomach a little bit 
and like baby doesn't like that like baby will literally poke at the band of the of the jeans like continuously until I take them off it's really funny like they just don't they don't like it and <clears throat> So I thought that was really funny. Everyone loves maternity jeans. I am not one of those people. So um, I've worn them occasionally, but only for short periods of time. Like if I know I want to like look cute and like <clears throat> go out to dinner with a friend or something like that, then I'll wear them. But yeah, definitely not like an all day thing for sure. I just would not find those comfortable at all. So I thought that was funny. If anyone has any recommendations, I did try leggings, maternity leggings, but even though they fit, it still feels really tight, like in the lower part of my belly. And I have one pair of maternity leggings that my sister-in-law gave me that are actually a little bit too loose. And those are my go-to pants because they don't cut into me at all. So yeah, that's that's been uh, helpful. The other thing going on this week, I don't know if you guys noticed in my last video, I also was not wearing my ring, is my fingers have officially swollen up to the point where it is really difficult for me to get my wedding rings on and off. Uh, my engagement ring is actually like a size or half a size smaller than my wedding band. And so I kept my wedding band on for a really long time. And then this week, officially, my fingers have kind of swollen to the point where I just can't get them on and off. I never used to take them off. I'm one of those people that just like has them on all the time. Um, so, but I, I just didn't want to like get to the point where I physically could not get it off and I had to have it like cut off or not my finger cut off. Just <laughs> if your fingers swell up too much, they have to cut off the ring. So I didn't want that to happen to me. So I did buy myself a little like, I hate calling it a fake ring because it's not made of plastic, but it is basically like just a metal ring that kind of looks like gold and it's got like cubic zirconium in I totally, a space, I was going to wear it for this video to show you guys and I totally forgot. So next time I remember, <laughs> I don't know when that'll be, but just the next time I remember, I'll show you guys real quick. It's kind of funny. My husband thinks it's really gaudy and unattractive, but it was cheap online and I just want to look like I'm married because I am and I don't want to, you know, not be walking around with a ring, especially my dad made a very good point. He's like, you especially don't want to be walking around without a ring when you're like on a date and like all cozied up next to your husband who is wearing a ring because then it looks like he's having an affair. And I was like, that's a very good point. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm very happy with my fake ring. I don't care what people think of it. It's whatever. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So the other thing that's happened this week is I officially started kind of missing deli meats. In fact, to the point where like, I'm sad even talking about it. Like, I don't know. I think it's just um, the convenience of it too. Just like, because I'm a night shift nurse, I always used to just like pack a sandwich or whatever. And now it's just getting really hard to find foods that are like, easy for me to bring. Um, my latest hack has been I buy those little packs of salads, not the bag, the little bowl of salad that has like the fork and everything already in it and like the dressing and everything. And what I've been doing is I make up the salad, it's like chicken Caesar salad, and I put it into a wrap that I bring with me. And that has been awesome. It's totally been hitting the spot for me. And yeah, that's been great. Um, but yeah, it's just really funny to me that I just like, just like, oh, I could just really go for an Italian sub. So I'm kind of like, nah, I'll be okay. But yeah, it's kind of depressing. My husband doesn't need Italian subs around me because he knows that I would be too sad. <laughs> but we're getting close. We're almost, we're more than halfway there and I will totally have some Italian subs when this baby comes out and it'll be all worth it. <laughs> so that is it for now, guys. Do you guys have any questions for me? What do you guys think? Are you guys having a boy or a girl? Are any of you guys going through IVF right now? Or are you doing pregnancy right now? And how are your lives and how's everything going? And yeah, we're coming up on the holiday season. So happy holidays to everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful winter. But that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.